Well, joining us now from another live point near Jonathan in Cairo is the author Adaf Sua, whose book Cairo, My City, Our Revolution, tells the story of the 2011 overthrow of Mubarak. Well, does, does Morsi have to go now? Is there no way he can survive? Uh, Krishna, I think he can. I think, in fact, he has a chance to do one last thing, to try and um, preserve some kind of remaining shred of unity in Egypt. And it would be that he should stay, but he should disband the association of the Muslim Brotherhood. The Brotherhood has now performed its function. There is no need for it to exist as an association. It is not legal. And the... Um, there is now the Freedom and Justice Party, which the Brotherhood has kind of morphed into. This would mean that the office of the Supreme Guide in Murshid would be closed, and it would mean that the, that the Brotherhood would become the, um, the FJP and would be purely a political entity. Now, that would be a really uh, useful thing to do, and then President Morsi could stay on as a political figure with... Um, uh, a referendum on whether he should stay or not, so that could be timed for within a month or so. But what do you think this means for political Islam within Egypt? Which you were, I mean, you know, you were never a fan of this president, were you? So, I mean, is this a rejection of Islam in Egyptian politics? No, of course not. It's not. You cannot talk about Islam in this sense at all. Um, actually, one of the things that people say about this government was that it had nothing to do with Islam. And they've been accused of, uh, of trading with Islam, of using Islam as a, as a cover, whereas, in fact, they're sort of, you know... I mean, they haven't even really brought in an ideology, whether one would agree with it or not. Um, I think that political political Islam of the Brotherhood variety has suffered a very serious blow. I think that uh, they have all on their own lost the country in a year. I will admit I did vote for President Morsi because I couldn't bring myself to vote for General Shafi. Um, and because I believed, as many of us did, that the Brotherhood were, you know, part of the Egyptian people and that they also would want to work with us and that together we could come up with some kind of uh, new model. Um, and then it turned out that uh, not only did they not want to work with anybody other than themselves, but they actually don't have Egypt as an entity that they care about. I mean, they're not, they were not for one minute working for the good of this country. Uh, they were working for the good of the Association of the Muslim Brotherhood. And but, that but is why leader, um, President Morsi has failed. Can, can any leader Sorry? satisfy the demand that followed that revolution in 2011, wasn't, isn't, wasn't any government going to be a disappointment? No, no, because people are reasonable. People say, we are OK to put up with hardship for a while as long as we see a project, as long as we see that we are at least facing in the direction that the revolution was all about. So, if uh, this government, if President Morsi had made any steps in the direction of curbing, for example, police brutality. Uh, the revolution was about human rights and it was anti-torture. If he had... I'm really sorry, I'm going to have to interrupt you, uh, but thank you very much indeed for your time. We're about to lose the satellite on your, on your line just for now, but if we have any more developments in Cairo tonight, and it's a fast-moving situation, we will go back to it.